Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Rob with Collecting Dust Hobbies. Uh, it's time for another storage locker update video. Just grabbed a couple more of the shoebox card uh, boxes. Like I said, there's you know a few hundred of them at the unit, and you know as I go through them a couple at a time, kind of been finding some good stuff. If you've seen the other videos, um, hey, if you like what we do, hit subscribe. If you haven't seen uh, the other videos, I think this is update 28 or whatnot. Um, so just you know. Check them out. Been uh, bought a couple of storage units and uh, full of uh, baseball cards and, and football cards and memorabilia and merchandise and whatnot, and just been going through them, through them and uh, videotaping it. So anyway, um, got a couple here. So just kind of like flipping through this one. Looks like some stuff from the eighties, uh, eighty six, eighty four. Looks like a Brett Saberhagen, uh, Brett Saberhagen traded card or possibly Tiffany. I think it's traded if I remember correctly. Some Kirby Puckets, so this one looks like kind of the easier one to go through, and then this one here is just full of uh, looks like top loaded cards and some other stuff as well. So, uh, let's go ahead and just get into it. Looks like a bunch of Kirby Puckets 86. Now, the Kirby Puckett rookie you want is the 84 Flair update, um, and then his stuff in 85. So, this would have been you know second year stuff. Um, you know, at one point in time, this would have been very coveted. But uh, yeah, so just a bunch of Kirby Puckett rookies, or not rookies, 86 Donruss, so two, three, four, five, six, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten, etc. So quite a few, just a bunch of Kirby Puckett's Donruss 86, kind of nice, that one's got a little ding on it, but, um, so that's kind of looks like what we're starting with, so I got some of that, so there's a bunch more, so maybe this is just all... Kirby's here. Some more Kirby Puckets. Great ball player. Um, it's too bad. You know, I think he had an eye issue and then uh, he ended up dying really early. Um, so just uh, was a great player. Great all around player. And we got some 86 Fleer. Some not in great shape. You know, like this one here. But, uh, you know, for a Kirby Puckett collector out there, they may or may not uh, care. Um, so we got the 86 Tops Kirby Puckett. So this is definitely a Kirby Puckett uh, type uh, collection here. And see what we got. It's just a bunch of more Puckets. So there's more Puckets. Some 86s. So... I mean, you know, and some of them, I mean, you know, probably not much. I'd probably sell them out as lots, you know, lot them out kind of thing. So these other ones are in hard cases. I'm assuming they're all the all one player. I don't know about this one, but you know what they were called bricks or whatnot back in the day. Um, so you you could buy them. You know, a lot of people would would, would crack vending cases and you pull all the cards out to do uh, a couple more. These are leaf, so. All right, so I guess we'll start with this one. So this is the, it says here 12 at $3 a piece, the 85 Donruss, Tony Gwynn. And yeah, so I'm just assuming that's just a lot of of um, 85 Donruss Gwynns. Kind of cool. I mean, I'll probably still lot it out. I'm not going to get $3 a piece for them, but, uh, but you know, you never know. Maybe there's one that's worth grading or whatnot. So with that said, so we got some 86 Tops Don Mattingly's. So pretty common card nowadays. I mean, you know, back in the day, this, this I could see this probably selling for, for pretty pretty good money. Um, but uh, nowadays, you know, yeah, it says a dollar piece. I mean, I, I don't know, you know, you can maybe sell the whole thing for a few bucks. But then we have the uh, eighty-five tops Gwyn. Um, so it says here for a dollar, and then it says four at seventy-five. So I'm not sure what those are. Oh, these are the All Stars. So it looks like maybe there's a little bit less. There's old Long's Drugs uh, sticker there. So yeah, Long's Drugs. You know, back in the days, we that's it was one of the places you'd go to buy cars. Actually, um, they had the packs and whatnot. I remember buying a lot of eighty-six tops football there. Um, you know, and uh, and I think because they would also the other thing too is if you went to different Long's Drugs or you know those kind of stores, uh, maybe like in a smaller town or. Or, an, or or one that didn't get a visit as much. Sometimes there was always a chance they'd have an older box that was still sitting there. It might be a year or two old. They would just leave it on the shelves, and then and you could go in there and sometimes find older boxes. 
um, is always kind of interesting. So because you could be you know getting you know 87 tops football and then all of a sudden there's an 86 box sitting there. So all right, so we've got uh, 85 tops Ryan Sandbergs. So it's like a block of those. So kind of nice. I mean, hopefully they're in good shape. Um, and this is uh, 50 George Bretts. Yeah, so George Bretts there. And this is uh, the 86 All-Star, which would have came with the 87 tops, I believe. Um, yeah. So those are the ones that were, they had these in the, in the tops of the rack pack. So they're pretty common. Now this one here is going to be interesting if it's, yep. So this is just a whole stack of Brett Saberhagen's. And this is like, well, I say a block. This is from the 84 tops traded. But you have a, you know, however many that is, what do you think? About 50 maybe, maybe 40. So of uh, some Brett Saberhagen uh, tops traded rookies. So kind of interesting there. And so that was the easy box. And then we can kind of go over here to the um, uh, dogs are really active today. Um, so this one here, you know, like I said, it's got uh, we've got just some loose stuff up here, a lot of stuff in in uh, uh, top loaders, and then and then these uh, sleeves here. I think so. We'll just just start pulling and see what we can find. Okay, so we got uh, 1979 tops Raleigh fingers. So Padres, you know, this is the problem with the 18 or the summer the 79 tops in in some of the earlier seven like probably 75 through 79 you're in the years before that as well. But you know, just a lot of off cut stuff. So um, whatnot. So Raleigh fingers. So maybe this is the Padres box. Who knows? Let's see here. Alright, so we got 1980 Raleigh Fingers and Star 88. This is the uh, Boggs and Gwyn stuff. Ran across a couple of these the other day. So a bunch of those. It looks like it's going to be all Padres, it looks like here. 87 Donner's Gwyn. Some more Boggs and Gwyn Star 88. Some more Tony Gwyn. Denny's Tony Gwynn, tons of Denny's stuff in the locker. 87. Oh, there you go. It's the famous chicken. Triple play. 87 Donruss, 89 Donruss. But you know, just all Gwyn's. The Roberto Alomar rookie. This is all the 88 uh, tops traded. So, great player. Of course, he had some really good years uh, at Toronto. Those those runs that they had at the end there. Oh, then we got some football. Some Melvin Gordon. Not sure if these are his rookies or not. Probably. Uh, no, this would have been his second year. So let's get some Melvin Gordon cards and some more Melvin Gordon. And another the other way. Let's go ahead and see what else we have in here. All right, so we've got Hunter Renfro. This looks like a couple of Hunter Renfros. Some more Hunter Renfro. Bethencourt, Bethencourt, rookie cards. A lot of them. Tops Heritage. Got uh, Austin Hedges. Looks like a minor league uh, San Antonio Missions card. See here, some more Hunter Renfro. Renfro. Just tons of Hunter Renfro. So it's probably a you know it was a key prospect at the time. He, they were putting this box together most likely. Especially in the Padres area, uh, Padres are actually doing quite well. You know, come come from behind victory last night against the uh, Giants. You know, Fernando Tatis Jr. hitting a home run. So yeah, it's it's you know probably the best start they've had in a long time. So interesting if they can uh, keep it up for the rest of the season. Some more Hunter Renfro's.
Looks like we got some more football here. Okay, so we got some uh, Fleer Platinum Drew Brees, the rookie. No, 2004, but still early, early Brees. He's still at the Chargers before the trade. Um, we got a uh, 2002 score, so we get closer to the rookie there. Some 2002 prestige Drew Brees, so really, really nice Drew Brees uh, cards here. 2005 Zenith. I mean, this guy's going to be a shoe and Hall of Famer. Um, Leaf certified materials, Drew Brees. Drew Brees, SP Authentic, is that 2000? Yeah, it's 2002. Still, nice stuff. Always good to find some older Drew Brees cards. I actually found a Drew Brees, it was the Drew Brees rookie with Mike Allstott. I sent that out for grading. So it's kind of a nice find I found in the locker. And let's see here, so we have, uh, looks like uh, 2005. You know, it says draft picks and prospects. We still have some of the veterans. Some more Drew Brees. So yeah, really nice Drew Brees uh, lot there. That starts adding up, and then you go right back into Hunter Renfro. And too bad it doesn't say like Mike Trout. It'd be nice. Um, Betancourt, Betancourt, Betancourt. We got a 1998 NL Championship Magic Moments Tony Gwynn card. And then we've got a Jerry Coleman. Again, he was the announcer for the uh, Padres for many years before passing. This is his playing days. This is the swell stuff that came out. There's a, I think, man, this one came out in 90. Oh, okay, it's by Impel. Okay, so Impel did a lot of, um, like, the, I think it was the DC and stuff like that. And then that was kind of like their, their baseball was doing the greats. They had a couple of, of um, sets out there. Cards you can buy. This is basically all the older guys. Kind of like a kind of a cool set. I mean, I mean for me, I mean we had the um, I'm blanking on it now, but we had the you know when when you're growing up and you're and you're you hear about all these great names and then you have you're collecting the current stuff, but then they always have a set like that. It was kind of always cool from a nostalgia perspective to say, oh, yeah, it'd be kind of cool. Like you know, it's a Babe Ruth card and it's not worth a whole lot, but at least it's a Babe Ruth card. That's what you you would think about as a kid. So. All right, some more Hunter Henrys. So I came across some other Hunter Henrys um, in another box earlier. Some uh, ni nice jersey stuff. Jermaine. Some Junior Seau. Tomlinson. So let's flip it. Some more Hunter Renfro. Tons of Hunter Renfro. There's a Hunter Renfro collector out there. Let me know. Hunter Renfro, Hunter Renfro, Tomlinson, and Tomlinson 2004, and this one's 2000, which one's this? No, nah, he's already been, yeah, it's 2006, so, so kind of cool, looks like, like I said, the Padre slash Chargers San Diego box, some Junior Seau cards, it looks pretty young in that picture, Tomlinson, Junior Seau, 96, Junior Seau, and Atron Means, Darren Sproles, Tomlinson card, Junior Seau sacking John Elway, his hand on the ball, it's a really good shot, kind of cool, Junior Seau, some more Hunter Henry, read the rookies, this guy gets past injuries, he, he can be really good uh, tight end, he's got, he's got a good build and Speed and everything else for it. Hunter Henry. So tons of stuff there. So we have some more chargers. We have Encore Seau. Kind of ding though. Skybox. Oh, you got some Joey Bosa rookies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six Joey Bosa's. We got some more Hunter Henry's. The Hunter Henry Gold Draft versus the regular one. All right, and more Hunter Henrys, all Hunter Henrys, some more Melvin Gordons, Seau, Old Pacific Seau, Hunter Henry, some more Seau, and another Bosa, 
So tons of Hunter Henry stuff. Um, if you saw one of the other videos, I got pulled a bunch. There was one that had a ton of Dak Prescott stuff in that same set. Um, this uh, Leaf Draft. So kind of interesting to see. So I'm assuming the rest of this is going to be about the same. We got Hunter Henry, uh, rated rookies, just just a boatload of them. Yeah, those are just all Hunter Henrys. And at the end, we get a wild card uh, junior sale, no stripe. If you guys are familiar with the wild card, I've got some boxes right here. I'm going to find them, maybe open them. But the cool thing about the wild card is they had the stripes. You see here, they have the numbers up here, 25,000. So they would have a stripe down here. I think it was on this side or the side. But it would have, like, you know, the different stripes. So it was kind of like a, this is a 90, what, 192, I believe, 91. So kind of the beginning of that whole, you know, parallel kind of thing. Um, wild card is actually one of the fir first ones to kind of, Start experimenting with that with these stripes. You could have the junior sale, you have the ones the 10 stripe, the 5 stripe, the 20, of course, the thousand stripe being the hard one to find. So, but not sure um, how how rare they really were or how many per box. I just don't remember, but um, we'll do some openings uh, of these uh, before too long here. See if we can figure that out. But always kind of a cool card, different company. All right, so we've got uh, some junior sale stuff still. Dwayne Kuyper, kind of an odd, just, you know, this was crazy about this. You know, all these Chargers and all this newer stuff, and then there's a 1978 Topps Indians Dwayne Kuyper card. So it's kind of random stuff. Some Dan Marino here. Certified materials, a little banged up. The problem is when they're not uh, sleeved. Got another Drew Brees here behind that. So it's just, you know... Sometimes these, these cards just, you know, there's the Drew Brees. Nice if they're in sleeves. I'm, I'm already seeing dings on some of them, so. And uh, you got Drew Bledsoe and Dan Marino over there. Oh, here we go. It's nice. We got some, I don't know, I thought it was Ken Griffey, but it's Moises Alou, Viscal, and then again, you know, 78 Krukos, 78 Suitors. And a 79 Jack Morris card. So it's just kind of random, you know, it's like going through there and then all of a sudden you have these little group of 78s. Mark Fidrich, I mean, they're good players. And you got uh, Jerry Rice, John Elway, and Dan Reno. So, I mean, good players, just not sleeved. Mike Piazza, you got Troy Aikman, got Shaquille O'Neal, early Shaquille. 93, 94. A couple more Kuipers. And that's it for that side. So let's see what else we can find in this back part. So just kind of take a look. We'll start with these. And okay, so now we change gears here a little bit. And we've got some 87 Fleer Nolan Ryan. Impact Tony Gwynn, kind of loose in there. Some more 87 Nolan Ryans, and yeah, I don't think they were glossy. They just look like they're normal. So Babe Ruth, the called shot card. And this is um, 1992 Delphi, whatever that is. 1992 Family of Babe Ruth and Babe Ruth Baseball League, Inc. Okay, then we got some Mark McGuire rookies. Well, really 85, but you know, the 87. You got Rod Carew, 80, uh, 78, Diamond King, Rose, Randy Johnson. Randy Johnson, you got the uh, 90 Leaf, Nolan Ryan, Sandberg. So, I don't know if I'd pay two bucks for some of this, but. All right, let's see how else we got. Okay, here's the. Um, uh, this is, uh, I think it's 89. It's a Disney. I found some more of these in the in the uh, unit. Um, really good shape. I think it was, it was like a food, um, food. I can't remember the name. It was like a, it was a food uh, giveaway kind of thing. And there's a series of 25. Is kind of like the Disney, really the Disney cartoons. Kind of cool. I actually sent some off to be graded, so we'll see those when they get back. So Richard Petty promo pro set racing card. A couple of those in there. Some old... Uh, Football, 76, right? Yeah, 77. 
Some more Richard Petty promo. Kyle Ripken. We got the Denny's. Kyle Ripkins. Andres Galarraga, rookie. Ray Rookie, 86. Donruss. Canseco. And we got some uh, hockey. Steve Eiserman. I want the 84 tops for him. This is the 90. And some, some offshoot Cal Ripken set of some sort. He's got the logo up here. I don't see any other information on here, though. So many oddball sets in those early 90s, you just never know. I'm always finding out. So this star, I guess. Okay, so it's star. I just, it was the tags up there. So this is a star set. But it's interesting because most of the star stuff is much different. So this must have been kind of a something else they were trying with uh, some of their stuff. And we got some uh, Ken Griffey Juniors. Always good to see Ken Griffey Junior cards. Okay, Tom Seaver, Bo Jackson. Some more Bo Jackson. It's the 90 score. 89 Pro Set. Tom Seaver. Bo Jackson. This card in graded format is actually pretty good. Um, this one's not a very good copy, but um, Bo Jackson, Marcus Allen. That's a nice Bo Jackson. Totally certified. 2012. So definitely a remake type card, but oh, something on the side there. Some Kool-Aid cards or something. Trevor Hoffman. Reggie Jackson, Reggie Jackson, 85, 84, 83, 83, 84, Opeachy. Something you don't see every day. Reggie, 85, 86. So just a bunch of old Reggie Jacksons. These with the Angels. Looks like they're in decent shape. You know, Will Clark, Ultra Flea, this is the Ultra All Star team. Let's see, something there. So we got the 82 Fleer Robin Yount. So we got some Robin Younts. 82. This looks like a, uh, so Keebler Elf, number three, Trevor Hoffman. We got Top's Finest, Trevor Hoffman. Ultra Fleer Impact. So a bunch of Trevor Hoffman, Hall of Famer. Was it Canseco? Some more Tony Gwynn. Oh, this is the uh, Carl's Jr. giveaway. I've seen a bunch of this stuff in the, in the unit. And I got these star stickers. Flare Limited. So just a bunch of Reggie Jacksons. And this is going to fall. So we'll do that. There's some ones on the side there. I'll check those out in a second here. So we got Dwayne Kuyper. Frank Thomas stuff. Always good to get Frank Thomas. Brandon Webb. Robin Yount. Some more of those. And the 81 uh, star sticker. They're kind of cool. Alright, so these here on the side, what are these? These are. Oh, okay, so they're Nolan Ryan. Kool-Aid cards from the dugout. And they're in pretty good shape. So we got Nolan Ryan. There's two or three of them. There's two. No, there's two of them. So something different. Always kind of cool, the oddball stuff. You know, the oddball collector, especially when that says Nolan Ryan on it. Makes it a little easier. And then uh, looks like we got some racing stuff. I'm going to probably go through the rest of this fairly quickly. So some press pass racing. And it's uh, 2004, so early on. And uh, Press Pass was a good company. Um, they made some good products. It's just, you know, for whatever reason, they couldn't uh, couldn't last. Um, so you have the Impact Tony Gwynn's. Some more Tony Gwynn's. It looks like just a bunch of Tony Gwynn stuff. Some of these are in sleeves. The guarantee, okay, so some tops all time fan favorites. These are always kind of fun, both baseball and football. If you got Joe Namath, the guarantee. Get some more Joe Namath. This is tops 50 gold moments, which was like what, 2011? No, 2005, sorry. 2005. 2011 was the baseball 60th. Okay. Um, so making the show, press pass. And these are retros. We got the uh, Jim Plunkett. Yeah, Tops All American. That was the name of the set. So Jim Plunkett. 
went to Stanford, then became a Raiders. Raiders stalwart quarterback. Got Cadillac Williams. Marcus Allen. Some of this stuff's pretty beat up. Uh, I get the more Joe Namath here. So this is a, the uh, All American football, which is kind of an interesting set. Some more Joe Namath. Marcus Allen. So there's a 80, 80, 84 instant replay. Rookies in 83. John Elway. Looks like just a bunch of John Elway. Some more racing cards. Let's see here. So, oh, we got some each rows. Here is this. This is uh, 2003, so this is early on, so that's good. I wasn't expecting to see a bunch of each rows, but I'll take them. A bunch of each rows here. Maybe there's an each row rookie in here somewhere. Which year is this? Rookies and Stars, but it's, yeah, it's 2003. So how about that 2003? It looks like time frame here, which is good. It's a couple of years after. 2001 is the one you want. But uh, cool. Just always nice to see a bunch of each rows. Had a really good send off uh, at the beginning of the year. The Tokyo Dome, that was kind of cool. If you haven't watched that, take a look at it on uh, YouTube. It's kind of a cool thing. Some Tops Finest. So, the videos get a little long, so I'm just going to go through some of these a little quickly. But, yeah, there's just tons of each rows there. Some more Gwyns. Some Ripkins. A bunch of the uh, Bowman Gwyns. Yeah, looks like there's some old cards there. Some Barry Bonds. This looks like a Willie Mays, Barry Bonds, Willie Mays and Bonds. So, it looks like a bunch of Bonds stuff. Great player. This guy had, I mean, you know, I know everybody talks about the roids and stuff, but, like, he had some quick wrists. I mean, just amazing how quickly he could get that bat through the zone and, a, and turn on a fastball. It's just amazing. Um, that's just an innate ability. Yogi Berra. This is all that 85 TCG stuff. Pretty common, but... Yeah, you know, some people like it. All right, so and it looks like a bunch more of that. Looks like we got some old old football, some more old football. So it's kind of good, decent shape. You know, car, this is seventy seven right or uh, yeah seventy seven. So this looks like a bunch of commons, but you know always good to get older football stuff or whatnot. You just don't see it all the time. All right, Harold Jackson, nice card. We got some Albert Pujols. We got some sixty twos. Uh, so we got here, so we got sixty. Turk Lowe, really rough though. Rounded corners. Bob Hale, rough again. Some sixty two. You know, Gus Bell, Latman, really rough. Sixty one. And a 73. So, again, th this was crazy with those lockers. You'll be going, and all of a sudden you just find stuff, and it's like you just never know. I mean, in the, you know, it had started off with Hunter Renfro's and Junior Seau's and Joey Bosa's, and now we're getting into Veda Pinson. And uh, looks like that's some more 81, 80 tops, 81 tops basketball. Some more UFC stuff. If you guys watched the video the other day, there's a bunch of tops now, UFC stuff, Conor McGregor's, things like that. Um, this... He's old. Here's a 77 cloth sticker. Nice. Claudel Washington. So, pretty cool. Something you don't find all the time. Um, hmm. Shut out leaders. Quinn's. Yogi Berra's. Michael Vick. Quinn. Julius Jones. He was hot for a minute. Yeah, a couple good seasons. And then, let's see. All right, some more each rows. Thurman Munson, some more old football. Go through that. And there's a Blaine Nye, all pro. In the back of this, okay, so we got some Gwens. Go 
wins on another 77 tops cloth Bob Watson. Like I said, some that, that's the stuff you don't see all the time. I'm not sure how common it was. I mean, I know it's out there, but I just don't run across it too often in sets. So it's more 77 football. It looks like just a bunch of cons, but you know, not bad shape, you know, for somebody who's you know putting the set together or something like that, and they just need to fill it, you know, good, good set filler here. So anyway. So it looks like good. We have each rose. We've got some Joey Bosa's. We've got some you know newer stuff. Some a bunch of Gwens, um, Padres in general. So anyway, I um, hope you guys like the video. Um, if you like it, hit like. If you like what we do, hit subscribe. Um, comment below if you have any comments. Um, I know that some people are always asking. Um, I, I post the eBay um, uh, link down there so you guys can uh, check that out. Um, I do get cards up slowly, so sometimes. So if there's something you really want me to uh, upload, then uh, let me know and I'll upload it for you and uh, go from there. So as always, have a great day. Do what you love. Follow your passions. Talk to you soon. Bye.